You shed 500 million skin cells every single day. But what if I told you, your outer skin layer, the epidermis, has no blood at all? Yeah, that entire layer you see in the mirror, totally bloodless. It relies entirely on the deeper layer, the dermis, to feed it nutrients and take out the trash. Now meet the squad inside your epidermis. Keratinocytes, your body's frontline builders. They pump out keratin, climb their way up, and die off dramatically as flakes. Melanocytes, tiny pigment artists, they make melanin, give your skin its color, and throw shade at UV rays trying to mess with your DNA. Langerhans cells, your skin's undercover immune agents. Born in bone marrow, trained to spot invaders, and low-key involved in skin allergies too. Merkel cells, tiny sensors that help you feel a soft touch. Mostly hang out in spots like your fingertips and genitals, no joke. Ever had a skin condition that didn't make sense? Drop your story in the comments, I'm listening. But here's the wild part, your palms and solace? The epidermis there can be to 0.3 millimeters thick, meanwhile, on your eyelids? Just 0.05 millimeters, thinner than a sheet of paper. Why, pressure zones need armor, sensitive zones need finesse. It's built for the job, down to the last cell dot dot. So here's the real question. Would you trust your skin to keep you safe if it had no blood supply?